What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Something to Talk About. And uh, yeah, I'm here to talk about some Song of Ice and Fire. And also, I'm here to show you this beautiful picture of the Benverse. And after we do all that, I'm going to say, What's up, everybody? Welcome! To something to talk about. My name is Taco, and I'm here to talk about the Song of Ice and Fire lore stuff that I do. And uh, yeah, it's a part of my Song of Ice and Fire lore series, and I'm covering Leo Tyrell, Lazy Leo. He's half a maester. And uh, yeah, this is a this is gonna be a fun one. Covering a Tyrell. I've covered a Tyrell before. And if you've never been here before, welcome. What's up? Click like and subscribe. Hang out for a while. Why not? Yeah, you know, let's hang around. You want to do something? You want to hang out? You want to get a drink? Um, watch some TV? Uh, play some Street Fighter? <laughs> That's all I do. Okay. Uh, so if you've never been here before, I do these all in one big long take. I kind of just rant and rave and make jokes at the screen while I cover a character that's a little lesser known from the Song of Ice and Fire lore. This guy is Leo Tyrell. And he's from the books. He's around. Uh, he's not one of the main Tyrells. He's a cousin. He's just a cousin. All right, so that's it. I think I covered everything. Check it out. Let's go. Let's talk about Leo Tyrell. Lazy Leo. Leo Tyrell, known as Lazy Leo, is a member of House Tyrell, a first cousin of Mace Tyrell. His father, Marin, is the younger brother of Mace's father, Luthor. You guys got all that? All right. Lord of Highgarden. He is the second son of Marin. Morin? I'm saying Marin, but it's Morin. Good old Morin Tyrell. What a Morin. Uh, the commander of Old Town City Watch. Leo is a novice at the Citadel. Leo has met with Sam Tarley during their childhood. Yeah, he's just like a cousin. He's one of those. I wouldn't call him a first cousin or anything, but, you know, I already said it once. I'm not going to say it twice. Uh, <laughs> but he's hanging out over at the Citadel. The arrogant and a malicious Leo often gives mocking names to his acquaintances, like uh, Pete the Pig Boy. Uh, he speaks unpleasantly of Dornishmen and Summer Islanders. That's messed up. He is disliked by his fellow students. Oh. Leo sometimes gambles at the checkered hazard. That's a great name. Um, to the point of losing all of his money and having to beg for drinks from his acquaintances. Which is messed up because he's a Tyrell. He should have money compared to all these random people who are trying to become maesters. Like, he's the one dude who like, comes from a higher-up family. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe all the maesters come from higher-up families. He has been trained um, to arms and is known to be deadly with a Bravos blade and a dagger. He's a water dancer? Nuts. All right. So I've covered a house Tyrell before. I covered Garland Tyrell, right? So let's just talk about Tyrell. Usually the second slide I uh, show besides the title one is the, um, uh, the house, but house Tyrell isn't is lesser known. So we'll just make it quick. Usually it's so I can give like a little bit of spotlight to lesser known houses, but everyone knows who the Tyrells are. House Tyrell. House Tyrell of Highgarden is one of the great houses of the Seven Kingdoms, being a lord's paramount of the Mander and liege lords of the Reach, a large wealthy house. Its wealth is only surpassed among the great houses by House Lannister, but the Tyrells can fill the greatest armies. Initially, they call the ships of the Red Wine Fleet, the lords of the Shield Isles, and the coastal lords. They can command a navy that equals, if not surpasses, the royal fleet of King's Landing. Ancient, or sorry, Highgarden is an ancient seat of rule of the heart of chivalry in the Seven Kingdoms. Their sigil is the uh, golden rose on green, and their words mean growing strong. Members of the family tend to have curly brown hair and brown eyes. Yeah, they took over after the um, gardeners died, right? They were stewards, and then they took over. So a lot of people don't like them. They're like, they're old jump stewards, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, that's House Tyrell. Let's just talk about good old Leo, though. A beautiful flower. Beautiful. He's a beautiful man, a beautiful flower. Uh, having sly hazel eyes and ash blonde hair, which falls over one eye. <laughs> uh, Leo stands out from traditional uh, brown eyes and brown hair of the Tyrell. Yeah, he's blonde and hazel. He is handsome and pale and has a soft voice. Leo dresses in satin stripe in the Tyrell colors of green and gold. He has worn a black 
silk half cape pinned to his shoulders by a jade rose and a half cape stripe in green and gold. That's talking softly. I'm not going to do that the rest of the I, I talk boisterously. I yell. Everybody knows that. I'm the one video that you got to turn the volume down. <laughs> At least I do. When I listen to myself, which I do often, I... Uh, <laughs> these jokes. I, I I have to turn it down because I'm like, geez, me? Why are you always yelling? I don't know. Uh, the Quill and Tankard. Uh, Leo has been confined to the Citadel for some unspecified offense. What did Leo do? Why is he confined? They just whirl right over that. They're like, oh, now that he's out of his house arrest. House arrest for what? No, one's, no one says it. Um, but leaves three days early. But Leo shrugs this off with a quip of the meaningless of time. <laughs> so he shows up at the Quillen Tankford where everybody else is hanging out. And they're like, dude, you're still confined for three more days. And he's like, time is meaningless. Y'all you want to buy me a drink? <laughs> he asks him to buy him a drink since he lost his money gambling, eating elsewhere. He stumbles onto a discussion being held at the Quillen Tankard by Rune, Armin, Alras, um, Molander, and Pate about dragons. He offends them each in turn. He just insults all of them. Then attempts to mollify them by um, confirming that Daenerys is alive and has hatched three dragons as the tales come out about Car out of Karth. Karth. That's how far away these ones are coming. They're not even marine. But yeah, so everybody's like, there's no dragons. And he's like, nah, contraire. There's dragons. There be dragons. That's what he says. All right. Um, he also reveals that there is a glass candle burning in the chambers of Archmaester Marwyn. After the others leave the inn, he threatens to take, this is so messed up. He threatens to take the virginity of her. Rosie, the girl that Pate has fallen for, Pate wishes he could kill Leo, but Leo is a Tyrell, which um, with relatives and positions of power. So no one really likes Leo. He shows up at the bar just right out of his like house arrest, essentially, and he just pisses everybody off, asks for money, and immediately talks to Pate the pig boy. And he's like, hey, you like Rosie? And he's like, yeah. He's like, ah. I'll take a virginity first. It's so gross. I hate talking like that. But yeah, so Leo's kind of a jerk bag. Leo's kind of a jerk bag. Um, and then Pate gets killed and his face gets ripped off. Yay! All right, moving on. Uh, reunited with Samuel Tarly and it feels so good. When uh, Samuel Tarly arrives at the Citadel, he recognizes Leo outside of the chambers of Marwen at the Ravenry. Leo is... Uh, Starting staring, there we go. Leo is staring intently into the candle, uh, into a candle flame, which possibly is a glass candle. And when Alaraz asks if he is searching for his destiny or his death, Leo blinks and replies, Naked women. <laughs> He's looking into a flame of a candle. And then Alaraz is like, What are you looking for? And he's like, Nudes. Looking for nudes, LRS. <laughs> oh, this guy. All right. Uh, Sam is uh, intimidated by Leo, remembering him from their youth, but nevertheless tells him of his deeds uh, at the Night's Watch and how he's now called Sam the Slayer. So he walks up and he's like, hey, you remember me? And Leo Tyrell's like, Samuel Tarly? You're alive? He's like, yeah. He's like, hey, you're Night Watch. He's like, yeah, but... I'm kind of famous for being a warrior in the Night's Watch. Sam kind of lies a little bit. He's like, they call me the Slayer. Yeah, jokingly to your face. <laughs> but whatever. But he has no chance to reply as Sam enters Marwyn's chambers. So as they're talking, and he's like, they call me Sam the Slayer. Leo laughs. And then Marwyn the Mage pops out like Doc Brown. He's like, Sam, get in here. <laughs> All right. So... That's it. That's that was fast. Fight was fails. That's the whole story of good old lazy Leo. So the last we saw, he was looking in a candle flame, trying to see some nudes. You love this guy, don't you? All right. So we got we got some stuff to talk about with him. So thoughts on Leo, lazy Leo. 
I surprisingly have not found any grand tinfoil theories on Lazy Leo. Yeah, he's not a Targaryen. You know, weird. All right. Uh, <laughs> I found a Reddit thread that speculated everything from Leo being a secondary antagonist to uh, Samwell at the Citadel to shipping him and Alaras. So a lot of people are like, Leo and Alaras. I don't think so. But maybe. I don't know. I don't think Alaras is there. A lot of people know that Alaras most likely is Sorella Sand, a sand snake. I don't think she's there to flirt with Tyrell. She's there to do her own thing. She's playing her own game, right? If that's her, most likely is. Um, so a lot of people are shipping them. And just to be the joking, <laughs> said, or to just being the joking member of the group, being the Ron to Samuel's Harry. So a lot of people, of course, associate the Citadel with Hogwarts, right? So everyone's like, he's the Malfoy. Nah, he's the Ron. He's not a Malfoy. I think he's more of a Malfoy. Plus, he's blonde. Um, Old Town will be the site of some action in the Winds of Winter, and I'm pretty excited to see his part. So, yeah, he might be involved in some of the stuff that goes down there. I mean, uh, Euron might attack there. There might be some real crazy stuff happening. Leo might be involved. He's a he's a part of a family that's rather important, and he's hanging out with Marlon the Mage a little. Uh, and yeah, so that's it. This is a really quick one. Just go to a Lazy Leo. I just wanted to, to talk about this kind of. I kind of didn't even realize that there was a Tyrell there. Like my third time through, I'm like. There's a Tyrell in these scenes. <laughs> so I remember Leo, but I guess I forgot that Leo was a Tyrell the first time I went through. So there we go. Um, click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Please let me know what character you want me to cover. And yeah, um, have a good time looking into candle flames for naughty stuff. <laughs> Peace.